Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome to Post Cologne. Today I'm gonna to go over three new Latoffas that I just picked up, including the new Latoffa Pride Alamede. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. All right, so today I'm gonna to be unboxing three Latoffas that I just recently picked up from a larger fragrance haul. I did a video already covering a part of that fragrance haul because I got 13 bottles in this fragrance haul and there's no way I can actually do an unboxing of 13 fragrances in one single video because the video would probably be two hours long and by the 45 minute mark, I would be nose blind to the world and I couldn't do it. So I'm breaking this into chunks. I'm gonna have a link down in the description to that first video I did where I was featuring Afnan's Tobacco Rush. Really good video. So go check that out after you finish watching this video because I got a lot of fragrances to cover. Today I'm covering three, including the new Latafa Pride Alamede. Really excited for that one. So let's quit screwing around and let's get into it. All right, so kicking things off, we're gonna start with one from Latafa that is very popular. It's been getting talked about quite a bit, and I don't know why I haven't picked this up sooner. I've just been hesitating on it. It's been getting bumped down the list for other things, but I finally picked it up, and that is Latafa's Fakar. Now, I know I'm pronouncing that name slightly wrong, so don't roast me in the comments. I'm, I'm purposely doing that so YouTube doesn't penalize me for cursing in this video. So I'm gonna just be calling it Latafa Fakar. Okay, we're gonna go with that. Nice looking box, got that reflective front to it, but let's just break into this bad boy, see what we got here. All right, so there we go. There is the box from Latafa's Fakar. I picked this bad boy up for $18 at Fragrance Buy. That's where I pick up all my fragrances usually from Fragrance Buy. Great prices, they have all the Latafas, or most of the Latafas at least. Great customer service, great shipping. I got a coupon code, save yourself five bucks off your first purchase. It's down in the description, go check it out. Back into the fragrance here. Very nice looking box here. Just got a normal flip lid here. And then, oh, the cap, the cap is off. How, how embarrassing. There. It's really nice, sits nice and snug right in here, except for the cap was a little bit loose, but has a little kind of little pocket for it right there. Sits in that really quite nice. Very nice box it is. A cardboard but it's got some girth to it so pretty decent pretty decent box this is actually a really nice bottle i have seen this bottle already but now that i have it in my hand it's you know it's got some weight to it it's got kind of this like nice pattern on the back and then it's got the silver front to it with the you know, like a flower or something like that with a little toffa logo and writing on it very very nice toffa logo up front it's got the matching kind of pattern on the back very very nice bottle cap to it metal cap it's got a plastic inside but it's got a little bit of weight to it so yeah no, this is this is a good good presentation really nice looking bottle so i'm not no complaints here doesn't feel cheap at all so again for 18 dollars, this is very high quality a very nice box presentation really impressed with you latafa you, you you do a good job i really like you guys all right so let's see how this latafa fakar actually smells here so this is first time i've ever smelt this one Get some in the air. That's a nice atomizer on that. Oh, nice, very sweet, fruity opening. It's got definitely got the apple up top. It's a little sparkly. It's got like this like citrus sparkle to it with that very sweet kind of apple at the very top. That's very, very nice. I like that opening. Along with that, that sweet sort of citrusy, sparkly sort of opening you get, you get some some aromatics are starting to come through in that mid. You're starting to get like a little bit of like a like a fresh, clean, aromatic sort of feel. There's like a touch of like almost mintiness to it. So it's like it's got like a little bit of like fresh spice to it, but it's very clean. It's got that sweetness to it. It's very aromatic, and like a touch of woods that's starting to come through. This is really nice. I can see why people have been like talking this up quite a bit. Now this has said to be a, a clone or inspired by fragrance of YSLY, EDT, EDP, mostly EDT from what I understand. It does have that sort of vibe to it. It's been a little while since I've smelt the YSLY to be, to be perfectly honest. So I'm not gonna really, I'm just gonna give you the, my impression of this. Very nice opening. I really like how this mid's coming through. Like I said, it's got that sweet, sparkly apple, ginger, citrus sort of, up top and then you get like some more aromatics coming through very clean very fresh we're gonna have to get to the dry down and see what this is all about so let's just skip to the dry down and see how we go all right so we are back with the dry down with latafa's fakar and i'm really liking how this has unfolded it's been about 45 minutes so this hasn't been like a huge amount of time that has elapsed 
but I really, really like how this is kind of starting to kind of settle in and really kind of unfold from that initial opening. I'm still getting that apple, but it's got a lot more aromatic and it's got a little bit of spice from that, from like kind of like minty sort of spice that's coming through. And you get an additional sweetness from the base and some of the woods coming through right now. It's really, really nice. Very fresh, very, you know, sweet, touch of spice, sort of clean sort of vibes going on to it. Definitely, you know, a summer scent for sure, but spring, fall, I think you could pull this off just as well. Really, really like this one. This was a good pickup. I can see what everyone was talking about in terms of how good of a fragrance this is. Again, this was $18 at Fragrance Buy. This was worth every, absolutely every penny from presentation of the box to the bottle and the scent profile on this is something that I really, really like. I, I really like those kind of sweet aromatic style fragrances with like a little bit of like Tonka, Amber, Woods coming through the base. Gorgeous fragrance. Definitely a win in my books. Glad I picked this one up. All right, next up, we got one that I've had my eye on for quite a while, but it was the summer when I was really looking at this one and it just didn't seem appropriate. But now that we're moving into the cooler months, I figured now's the time for $18. I think this is gonna be worth it. And that is Latafa's Velvet Oud. So it comes in a tube, obviously here. I don't know if I wanna even use my knife on this cause I'm afraid I'm gonna like scuff it up, but here, let's just give it a little gentle. There we go. All right, so there we have it. So there is the presentation for Latafa's Velvet Oud. It does have a very fuzzy, soft, velvety casing to it here. So the packaging matches the title, obviously, cause it's Velvet Oud. So it's kind of nice. It's like, I don't know, it's a little, almost a little cheesy, but I don't know, it kind of feels nice. I've had worse boxes, that's for that's for sure. So let's take a look at this. So just slides right off. Ooh, that's it's kind of fancy. I kind of like that. Actually, I don't even know if I had actually seen an image of the bottle before purchasing this. I'd only seen this velvet tube before. So this is kind of classy. This is like, like, I don't know. Yeah, like classy, sophisticated style looking bottle here. Very, very nice. Definitely got some weight to it. It is glass. This, that's plastic right here. This is not a metal top to it. So this does feel a little bit cheap. Cap, the, it's a like a glass top to it. That's kind of cool. It's got like the Latafa logo kind of down in there. But the base of this is that plastic with a plastic inside. So it's like half cheap, half not. This got a little bit of weight to it, but that's from the glass. But the bottle itself, very nice. Presentation, very nice, very classy, sophisticated, like not something you'd be embarrassed to have on your shelf. So again, really well done. We got the Latafa Oud written across there. Very, very nice bottle, but let's see what the juice smells like. Good atomizer on this. Oh yeah, you get that leather right away. It's a very strong leather opening. It's got some spice to it. A little bit smoky, so there's like some like cardamom spice, some like incense mixed with that leather note that's going on right off the right out the jump. And it's a very strong leather. Like it's not obnoxious strong, like it's not bothering me, but it's it's a very noticeable, hey, I'm leather kind of opening. Maybe a little bit of like citrus or or maybe citrus or some something to kind of tone this down just slightly. As this kind of opens up a little bit more, as this is starting to kind of settle down from that initial blast, it's a little bit kind of fruity sweetness coming through. I wouldn't say this is like a sweet fragrance right now, definitely with that leather, but that leather's kind of toning down a little bit. It's not as like strong, potent leather. It's starting to calm down and the leather is still very upfront and it's very noticeable, but it is getting kind of toned down by some of the other notes as they're starting to kind of unfold here. This is really nice. I'm enjoying this opening so far. A little bit more spice is coming through. Like, like I said, like, like a cardamom or a cinnamon is starting to come through. I'm pretty sure there's like a touch of citrus or something in here. And maybe like a little bit of that sweetness is coming from like amber or like maybe some musk, something to that degree. It almost has like an oudy vibe to it, but like not, like not a distinguishable oud. I think it's kind of like, like that leather is kind of mixing with, with some of the other notes to give a little bit of a, like a woody sort of vibe to it, but it's, it's, it's that leather mixing with something else right now. This is very interesting. I like this. 
and it's all starting to come together really quite nice. I think the dry down on this is gonna be absolutely fire. I, I'm, I'm really liking this so far, really, really enjoy this opening and as this kind of like the mid's starting to unfold. So let's skip over to the dry down and see how this turns out. All right, so it's been about 45 minutes and we are back with the dry down of Latafa's Velvet Oud. And again, I'm really liking how this one unfolds. This might be a two for two when it comes to this fragrance haul so far because the leather has kind of toned down, but it's still the very prominent note. That's still what you're very much getting up front with this fragrance. It's a very leather forward fragrance. The leather is kind of moved into kind of more of an animalic sort of leather and not in a bad way. Like it's, it's just a very distinct style of leather, but it's got some sweetness that's been added to it with some like amber that's kind of mixed in there. So it's, it's got a touch of sweetness. This is not a very like aggressively masculine style leather. It does have that touch of sweetness that's moved in there and it's really, really nice. I'm really enjoying this leather that's dried down. It's still maintaining a little bit of that kind of incense smokiness to it. So it's like an incense smoky leather with a touch of amber, giving it like a little bit of a sweet kind of vibe. And any sort of like oud that I may have been like noticing in the opening is not there anymore. This is just a smoky leather with a touch of sweetness from some like nice amber that's worked in there. And I'm really, really enjoying this one. Again, I think this was a great pickup for $18. I can't wait to get this on skin. Give this a full review, two for two. Excellent fragrance. Glad I picked it up. $18 on fragrance by Steel of a Deal. All right, last but certainly not least, this is the one I'm really excited about. It's from the Latafa Pride series. I've already tried the Latafa Pride Eternal Oud. I've done a full review on that as well. Absolutely love that one. These apparently are the Latafa kind of standalone fragrances. They're not trying to kind of be inspired by or dupes of anything in particular. As Allegedly, that's what, what I've heard and what they kind of claim. So I'm really excited about this one and it is Latafa Alamede. Very big box. I'm not even sure how big the bottle is going to be inside here, but it's a very big box. So let's just jump right into this, see what we got on the inside. All right, so here's the presentation. I'm not sure how this kind of comes out. Oh, it slides out. It kind of reminds me of the Banana Republic icon line how they kind of do this like book jackets book kind of idea very, this is really nice this is like a very heavy material this is not a cheap cardboard not flimsy like i can i can kind of squeeze this a bit and it doesn't feel like it's gonna break really high quality package i paid 32 dollars for this fragrance so right off the jump here the presentation on this for a 32 dollar fragrance is absolutely stellar i'm really liking this it's got a magnetic lid oh, stuff just falling out of it and there it is, sitting nice and snug inside its own little case. Very nice presentation. I really like that. It's got the Latafa and, you know, some metallic silver right there, sitting nice and snug inside this. And it is sitting nice and snug. This is not jumping around real loose. Very, very nice packaging. All right, so there you go. There is the bottle for Latafa Pride Alamede. Very, very nice bottle. It's very heavy. This has got some weight to it. Very thick glass. Um, I'm sure that's not exactly what this is, but whatever material this is, very, very thick, very heavy. It's got these nice kind of like metal ornaments that are on top of it or on the sides of it rather, I should say. Got some like nice texture to it. There's nothing cheap feeling about this bottle like whatsoever. The quality of this bottle is really, really nice. Damn, that cap is really on there too. Cap is metal. It's not a cheap plastic. It does have plastic on the inside, but the rest of it is, is a nice, heavy, heavy, nice metal to it. Very nice bottle, very high quality bottle. Like this, this would hurt my foot if it hit the floor, or it hit my foot on the floor, like so. Very nice, well done Latafa. Again, $32 for your fragrances and you give us this kind of a presentation and this kind of a bottle. You guys impressed me. So let's figure out what this smells like though. Another nice atomizer. Oh, this was kind of not what I was expecting, to be honest. It's got a, it's got mandarin up top. It's got that a clary sage sort of note. It's kind of like a spicy aromatic. This is a very interesting opening. I really wasn't kind of expecting this. I have to get some on skin. I, I'm I'm enjoying this one. I wanna I wanna go for the full ride here. Really, really nice opening here. Like it, it, it blends together very uniquely here. Like with the mandarin, that clary sage, there's like so like a hint of peppery spice that's mixed in there. 
along with this leather that's coming through and like a little bit of sweetness coming through. Um, apparently there's like a pineapple note in here with some musk. It's not like a really distinguishable pineapple that's coming through, but it's like a sweetness that's coming through. Really, really nice opening here. I'm liking how this is like starting to develop a little bit more. Again, on the opening, it's very much like that, that kind of citrus mandarin with a little bit of spice that comes through. Really fresh, but with that spice, and then that leather starts to make its appearance, but it's a soft leather that's starting to like unfold. It's like very, very, very soft sort of leather coming through. I'm excited to see what this is gonna dry down like. Let's just jump over to the dry down and see what we got going on here. All right, so we are back with the dry down of La Taffa Pride Alamede and I'm really enjoying the dry down on this one. This has changed a little bit. It's only been about 45 minutes or so, so it like, it's not the longest dry down of all time. It still might need a little bit of time to fully develop, but it has changed a little bit. That clary sage that's in the opening is still there with the mandarin, but that clary sage is this very soft herbaceousness that's coming through. It's very fresh, aromatic, but there's some spice in there from the pepper and this sort of citrus sweetness from like a little bit of the mandarin and like this pineapple musk that's combining. The pineapple is not standing out as like there is a pineapple note right there. It's just got this like touch of sweetness and the pineapple was listed as a note. So I'm assuming that's the kind of sweetness I'm getting. It is kind of that, that sweet citrusy style sweetness. That was a lot of C's, S's in that sentence. That's what I'm getting from this. And that soft leather is still there, it's not a like center stage note that's coming through, but it is in the background. Very soft style, very, very soft style of leather. Like it's like a very suede leather. It's, it's not like the Velvet Oud in terms of like very, you know, center stage, very forward. This is a leather fragrance. This is not jumping out to me as like, I am a leather fragrance. This is a, like I said, a very fresh, herbaceous, a little bit of spicy, soft leather fragrance. Absolutely gorgeous. I really, really like this one. I think this is, you know, got the freshness that you could probably wear this in the summer, but that herbaceousness that's from that clary sage, that little bit of spice and that sweetness and that leather kind of mixed together that it, it can hit in the fall and the, in the springtime as well. I'm gonna have to give this a full wearing, really sink my teeth into this fragrance and do a, a full review for you guys. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm just gonna leave it at that. Excellent fragrance. Really glad I picked this up for $32 for like the presentation of the box as well as the bottle absolute steal of a deal. It's a professional, like top grade, well maybe not top grade, but it's a very, very nice box that it comes in. Very nice bottle that's here for $32. You're definitely getting your money's worth. The scent profile is excellent. So I definitely think you should be checking this one out. Latafa Pride Alamede. All right, so I batted three for three on this fragrance haul. I am pleasantly, pleasantly surprised with all three of these fragrances. Latafa knocked it out of the park again with each and every one of these. Really enjoying that Fakar. I think it's just a, a beautiful, sweet, fresh, aromatic style fragrance. Perfect in the summer, but you can pull it off in kind of the early fall and the springtime. Great, great fragrance. I see what the hype's all about. That Velvet Oud is such an awesome leathery style fragrance. It's got that smoky kind of animalic leather, but it's balanced off with like a little bit of sweetness that's mixed in there. Awesome, awesome fragrance. Really glad I picked that up. Both of those were about $18 each, so like more than your money's worth when it comes to those. And that Latafa Pride Alamede, as I just said minutes ago, excellent fragrance so far. Really enjoying that one. The Mandarin, the herbaceous, kind of soft, clary sage that's mixed in there. A little bit of pepper and some like sweetness from like pineapple musk that's mixing in there, along with that really soft, suede style leather. Beautiful kind of combination of, that, of those notes coming into its own like unique scent profile. Really, really enjoy that one. There's definitely gonna be a full review on that one. Super happy, I'm, I'm really happy. It's always good when you get a fragrance haul and you're three for three when they're all blind buys. I, I'm, I'm pumped, I'm super pumped on these. So let me know in the comments if you tried any of these three fragrances, what did you think? What was your first impressions of these guys? Love hearing from you guys. So leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you all next time.